Police have launched a manhunt to find two men who attempted to steal two ATMs early this morning near Camp Springs. This would be the would be thieves rather struck two different gas stations about two miles apart near Joint Base Andrews. As Brianne Carter reports, it's the latest in a string of crimes targeting cash machines. An overnight dash to get cash in Prince George's County is two men allegedly trying to take not one but two ATMs. Oh man, I just can't, just can't believe it happened right here. Like Police it. say just before five this morning, two masked men drove up to this Exxon on Allentown Road, wrapped a chain around the ATM, and tried to rip it from its base. As a worker inside this booth watched it all unfold. Oh yeah, it's scary. The fact that we don't know what kind of people are. They might have a gun or something. They, they might shoot you or something. Employees say two men damaged these drink machines while unsuccessfully trying twice to get the cash. About ten minutes. Yeah, they did so quick that when they see they couldn't do it, they just drive away. Police believe moments later the suspect struck again, this time down the road at the Sitco on Old Branch Road. Trying to get this store's ATM, they rammed the store on either side. As they were attempting to do that, officers got on scene. Uh, there was a foot chase that ensued. Um, the suspects then made good on their escape. Vera Fontana lives next door and heard the commotion. It just seems a lot, like a lot of heavy equipment shifting around or something to that nature. This comes one day after an ATM was found in the back of this abandoned truck and less than two weeks after smash and grab thefts of other ATMs in Prince George's County and D.C. Three locations were struck in one night. Police are now looking into whether or not they all might be connected. And in light of these recent incidents, Prince George's County Police now say they are stepping up patrols at area gas stations and convenience stores as they search for suspects. In Camp Springs, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.